As engineers, we rely heavily on experiments, and sometimes we build physical prototypes to do our experiments, and sometimes we do everything in computers. Using physical prototypes is great in terms of getting a very high fidelity from your experiment, but it's very expensive, whereas uh, if you do it in computer, you can do things much faster, but you don't get as high fidelity as you get from physical prototypes. So the idea of hardware in the loop simulation is combining uh, the best of the two worlds. But typically, nowadays, uh, engineering is a global activity. So those different components may be under development in different parts of the world. Local hardware in the loop is already well established. That's being used in many uh, engineering disciplines. But the idea of internet distributed hardware in the loop simulation is to enable the integration of these setups regardless of where they are. The key challenge is when you have the internet in the loop, you introduce some dynamics to your system that you actually don't want to observe. So just like when you're having a conversation with someone who is uh, overseas and when you're experiencing delays in the video or audio that affects the dynamics of your communication, it's not like having the person right in front of you and communicating with them directly. Uh, the same happens in these systems too. So that's the main challenge. How do you make the internet as transparent as possible to the remaining components uh, that you're trying to connect together? Three, two, one, we're out. We integrated some of our setups that we have locally available in, uh, in the Automotive Research Center. We also uh, had an integration with our colleagues uh, in the Army. They have a ride motion simulator where the driver can sit on a platform that moves and emulates the movement of the vehicle as you're driving. And we integrated that setup with our engine. So a human driver was driving a virtual vehicle through a real engine that was uh, 50 miles away. So that's something that we can do uh, today. The vision I have is there's no reason why we cannot create a national network of connected hardware in the loop laboratories. If we have this national network, we can push the products faster to the market. We can educate our students better that can also create academic collaborations that were not possible before.